And uh, Singapore's STI up nearly 3% at the close as the banking counters rally. Now, they've all reported better than expected third quarter results. The three banks are making sure they have ample provisions to ride through uncertain times ahead. They are setting aside higher allowances for bad loans. And a slump in lending income isn't helping either. Brennan Tenoto has the details. Third quarter net profit for the three banks may have fallen, but it was still better than the previous quarter. Still, experts warn there could be more non-performing loans as government relief winds down, such as the debt moratorium which is supposed to expire by the end of this year. But it has been extended till up to next June. They may have been protected to some degree because of the moratoriums that they've been offered, but once those run out, the F&B sector, the consumer sector, and a number of other sectors that the banks are exposed to could be under severe strain. This could last for at least a couple of quarters. Uh, one is expecting a vaccine to improve sentiment next year, but the rollout of the vaccine and uh, the return to normalcy could take longer than the vaccine itself. However, there are bright spots. The bank's wealth management businesses continue to shine, with incomes rebounding to pre-COVID-19 levels. Experts believe this trend will continue. That I think, you know, really is playing a part to help offset some of the weakness, especially on the lending part of the bank's business. And with that being said, I think the expectation moving forward is also one that this could see that growth continuing to accelerate, which is a bit of a positive sign, especially I think, you know, as we see um, this as an indication of the pickup in economic momentum once again after the circuit breaker period. Shares of all three banks closed in the green on Thursday, all up by about 3%.